Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you with my October favorites and I'm going to get started this month with a pair of readers that I picked up from Anthropology that I'm absolutely in love with. These are very oversized on me, but I love them because um, they're great for when I am sitting at my computer working and I really like something with a big lens. Um, I have three screens when I'm working <laughs> that I work off of and it's just really helpful to have a nice big lens on my readers. So I picked these up. I thought they were super cute and um, really love those so that's my first favorite um, I've got a few beauty products that are favorites this month and so I thought I'd leave my readers on um, so I can actually read to you for a change um, the first one is from Merit Beauty this is their great skin instant glow serum and I just shook this up before, but um, it is kind of a biphase product where you've got some oil and some liquid that you need to kind of mix up before you use it. Uh, this is a great serum to kind of give your skin a nice healthy glow. It helps your makeup really glide on smooth and seamlessly. And um, it's got niaminoside, hyaluronic acid, all the good stuff that your skin needs. And I just really love it. So yeah, that is um, from Merit. And I really like that you get a lot in this package. I think the website says you can use one, two, or three pumps depending on how dry your skin is. I typically use one or two pumps and it is plenty and I just absolutely love it. So this is 1.7 fluid ounces and um, I think it's a great size for a serum and it's an all-in-one so you don't really need any other serums when you're using this. So really loving that. Another product from Merit that I was so excited to see launched. This was exclusive to Sephora and I was waiting for the Sephora VIB or whatever it's called, the holiday sale. Um, but then I decided, you know what, sometimes when I wait, things get sold out there. So especially since this was an exclusive, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. Um, this is the Merit Flesh Balm Trio and it is all minis. So they are the mini version of the Flesh Balm. So, so cute. And there are three different colors. There's Beverly Hills, Cheeky, and Mars. And Mars is a new color or an exclusive color to this set. I'm not sure if it's something they're gonna come out with in their permanent line, but um, Mars is this warm brick color or so it's called. Um, I'll just swatch a little bit on for you. That is what Mars looks like. Really, really pretty. To me, it looks almost like a terracotta color on my skin. It definitely goes a little warmer toned. Um, Cheeky is one that I already have in the full size and it is just a beautiful pink color that um, gives you a nice, it's right here, a nice pop of pink on your face. And then Beverly Hills is kind of a, I would say, peachy pink tone. Um, a lot of people consider this one of their favorite colors. I know um, it's right here, but for me, it is a little bit light on my skin, but I still do love it, um, especially in the cooler months when I'm not wearing quite as much bronzer and things, and you can definitely pick up more on the color. But they were just so stinking cute. I could not not to get it and I really wanted to try the Mars um, shade so yeah really happy to get this and I know the flesh balm is now coming out in this gold packaging so it was nice to see that since all of mine are in the old packaging and I would love to start getting some of the newer shade the newer shade if they do end up launching that in their full line in the newer packaging as well but um yeah i really love these they're just so easy to apply they give your skin a little glow at the same time and um one of my favorite kind of cheek products from merit my next favorite beauty product for the month um, is a kit that i received from jones road beauty i was really excited when this arrived um, this is the bobby 2.0 kit and i believe it is uh named after the fact that Jones Road just turned two years old. So really excited. Um, there's a new product in here that I just started using and I put it back in its package so I could show you. But um, this is their, uh, sorry, I wanna get this right. This is their bronzing powder and this is in the shade medium tan. Um, it comes, I believe, in two different shades and this is the lighter of the two. And when I saw this shade, sorry, let me just put this bag down. And when I saw this shade on the website, it immediately reminded me a lot of um, a product I used to use from Bobbi Brown Cosmetics, which was the bronzer in the color Stone Street, which was such a great tone of a bronzer. And this is very, very close, but I actually prefer the formula of this. Um, it is, I've got it on today. Let me just take my glasses off. I've got it on today. It is a really nice, 
sort of fleshy tone, not too orange, which is what I love about it, um, but deeper than my skin. I like to just use it around the perimeter of my face and my cheekbones to kind of add just a little bit of life back to my face after I apply any kind of complexion product. And this is fantastic. And what I love about it, even more than the Bobbi Brown Cosmetics, uh, one that I used to love and wore for years and years, is the fact that this um, doesn't really go on like muddy. Sometimes when your skin is is um, well hydrated and you use products that have a little bit of a kind of dewiness to them and then you put a powder product on top it can come off really sort of muddy but this is not like that at all it's so finely milled and beautiful and I just absolutely love it so that is um, the new product in the set that I was really excited to receive and then the next products that are in here um, there is the best pencil in the shade brown, which is one that I am wearing today and that I use all the time. Um, I have quite a few of these products already, but I was really excited to receive some new ones because by the way, I just started paying attention since the last year or two is really when I've kind of amped up all of my clean beauty products. Um, a lot of them do expire a little bit before, you know, the not clean versions with a lot of chemicals and stuff in them. So um, yeah, I was probably due to get a new one of these and I'm really excited for this. So I'm just gonna swipe a little on so you can see. It's just like a really nice deep brown that um, is not too cool, not too warm, just the perfect sort of shade, like a teddy brown, I would call it. Really, really nice. And what I love about this product, by the way, is that it goes on not too dry and not too kind of creamy. It is kind of perfect. It doesn't um, drag when you are applying it. You can apply it without having to like pull on your eye, which is what I tend to do when I, um, when I apply eyeliner, but it is also not too, um, too much like an eyeshadow. So I've had shadow sticks that um, kind of disappear on me. And lately my latest problem as I'm aging is that my, um, I guess it's my brow bone that's kind of sinking and my uh, lash line will sometimes hit it and I will get my my eyeliner up where it doesn't belong. So in any case, uh, this doesn't do that and I'm really happy with the formula and really happy to have a new one. It's my favorite of all of the shades that I have and one that I wear just about every single day when I wear eyeliner. The next product in the kit, which I am wearing today, I should have mentioned before that I have a full face of Jones Road Beauty on today. Um, this is their cheek stick or lip and cheek stick and this is in the color English Rose. So I'll just pull it out and show you. This is a beautiful, beautiful, cool toned rose that just gives your cheeks a nice pop of pink and so I will just swatch a little of that on so you can see it really really pretty is your I've got it on my cheeks right now and I tried I specifically didn't put a powder normally I put a powder blush kind of over it but I wanted you to see how it looks without anything else um, because it does give your cheeks that really nice glow so really enjoying that product then the next product in here is the Cool Gloss, and this is in the shade Nude Beige. And I actually have one of these here. This is one of the products I already had, but was excited to receive a new one. So I'll just show you what this looks like. I had it on, but it kind of wears off <laughs> throughout the day. But yeah, this is a really nice um, kind of a cross between a balm and a gloss. And I would say it's a cross between, or maybe an oil and a, and a gloss. It's not super glossy, it's considered a gloss, but I consider it almost like a balm and I love this really nice neutral shade. I know, I believe Bobby picked all of the um, colors in her kit and these all are colors that are very neutral and that remind me of Bobby Brown. So, um, and the last uh, product in the kit is here. This is one of the best eyeshadows in the shade Smoky Gray. And um, I don't have this on today. I do always use bronzer kind of, and I use this bronzer, the new bronzer today, like just in the crease of my eye to add a little bit of definition. But um, when I'm going out in the evenings is when I would normally wear like a smoky eye or something like that. But here is smoky gray. And it is just an absolutely gorgeous kind of, I would almost call it a slate gray. It's really, really pretty and one that um, definitely goes with all of the kind of neutral colors that I tend to wear on my eyes. So really, really pretty. 
really great set. Uh, definitely recommend. It's a great value for anyone who's thinking about it. And um, really thank you to the folks at Jones Road Beauty for sending me this set because I am just thrilled with everything and especially thrilled about the bronzer. <laughs> I cannot recommend this enough. I think it is fabulous. And taking off my glary glasses, I have two fragrance favorites this month, both from Commodity. I have Commodity Milk and Commodity Gold, and I'm actually wearing a combination of the two of them right now, and it just smells delicious around me. These two fragrances to me are like fall in a bottle. Commodity Gold is a beautiful kind of warm vanilla scent that um, is just deep and delicious and not super sweet. It's like the perfect vanilla. Um, and Commodity Milk is this warm kind of wood Woody scent with some marshmallow in there so it's like a sweet woody fragrance and when you combine the two it is just like my eyes roll back I just really love them so um, I've been a, become a huge fan of commodity fragrances and I'm really excited to see that they are now being sold at Sephora so I have two more of them that are on my wish list and I may pick up during the holiday sale we'll see but um, really loving these in the meantime and um, cannot say enough about them really great fragrances for the fall and jumping into some fashion favorites for October I recently picked up some two pairs of new jeans from a Goldie that I got on I think it was Jenny Kane that was running um, a 20% off sale and actually had them on there. These are a straight leg crop jean. I will put the um, the style name down below and as well as the washes. But um, yeah, I got these in the size 29, which is about my true size, I would say. But what I love about these is um, they are a cropped jean, but they are a straight jean. I love the light color wash, but I really wanted to get a nice darker color wash or mid-tone kind of blue wash and these are just a really great straight jean and even though they're cropped they hit me right kind of at my ankle so they're kind of like an ankle length jean on me which is perfect um, I love the frayed um, edges on these and these are a really nice kind of sturdy denim that is um, if there's any if there's any stretch at all it's very minimal but um, yet they are still very comfortable they look really great um, with all of the kind of shoes, some of the shoes I'm going to show you next and as well as other shoes. I've been wearing like a lot of slide in or slip on type of shoes uh, that se seems to be kind of my go-to during the fall season here in Florida and these are perfect for that. So I am really, really excited to have uh, both of these new jeans in my collection and I'm definitely looking out for a deep kind of um, dark gray slash black wash as well as potentially some white ones or kind of off-white ones. So yeah, keeping my eyes out for that, but love these jeans. And my footwear favorite of this month has to be my Birkenstock clogs. These are the Boston clogs. I have them in brown and in black, and these just kind of go with everything in my wardrobe right now. They're really suiting my very casual lifestyle well, and they're a great way to kind of transition into the fall when it doesn't really feel like fall and you really want to be wearing open-toed shoes, but um, these just, you know, feel a little bit more fall appropriate. So really loving these. And the other footwear that I've been wearing quite a bit lately are my Jenny Kane slip-on uh, fuzzy mules. I have them in both like a taupey color as well as again in black. They kind of just work with everything. I get tons of compliments every time I wear these and they look like a slipper but feel like a shoe and they are just absolutely the cutest thing on earth. And last but not least, I have four favorite handbags to talk about um, for this month that I am just obsessed with. The first two are from Anita Bing. Um, actually, all four are from Anita Bing, but these two are the same style. I believe this is called the Nico bag, and I have it in both um, this really gorgeous houndstooth as well as um, what I think is referred to as fishbone print. And they're really, really cute. So... Um, comfortable to wear just a perfect size kind of everyday bag and it's a great way like I've said before for me to incorporate a little bit of um, a tweed into my day-to-day -day life because it's too warm to wear it here so really loving these and then the other two bags are actually multiples as well you all know that I am a huge when I when I am a huge fan of something I end up buying it in multiples when I can afford to and in this case um, I had picked up this beautiful black Clio bag 
um, last month from Anina Bang, and I loved it so much that when they released this color, I couldn't not get it. So this is the camel color. <laughs> um, it is just so, so nice, and I was able to actually get this on a different site. I think I got this on Revolve when they were running a discount code, and so yeah, I was able to get both of them at a discount, and they are just beautiful. The leather quality is lovely. I love kind of the minimalist style. I've been really loving this style of shoulder bag lately. You can wear it on your shoulder, you can wear it on the crook of your arm, or just hold it in your hand. And I did just see that they released a mini version of this bag. It, I think there's a mini version also of the Nico bag, and they're killing me with these bags because they're just so beautiful, and um, I really don't need any more mini bags in my life, so I doubt I'm going to pick any of those up. But um, the the Nico one is really, really cute. So <laughs> if you're interested in the Nina Bang, definitely check out uh, what they have on their site. I am not buying anything else until maybe Black Friday. We'll see. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just obsessed with their bags and obsessed with everything in Nina Bang. Um, and so yeah, really, really great handbags and ones that I would say are definitely my favorites for the month of October. So those are all of my favorites for the month of October. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything I've talked about, please leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to list out the names and the colors and styles of everything that I've talked about as well down in the description. And um, yeah, thank you all for watching. I will see you soon in my next video and have a great week. Bye.